Hello everybody and welcome to this automotive technology video on domain controllers. Today we have a very exciting topic. We will talk about eye diagram measurement on high speed digital interfaces and we will focus on PCI Express Generation 3 that you will find in today's domain controllers for the automotive. For this reason, I have invited my colleague, Matthias Helwig. Hi, Hi Matthias. You. Welcome to this video. Uh, Matthias is our expert for oscilloscopes. And let's have a look what you have prepared for us today. So today I have the RTP for you. And I also have a PCI Express compliance setup using the domain controller. But first of all, let's have a closer look to the hardware setup. We see here the compliance setup for PCI Express Gen 3. We have the PCI Express compliance baseboard. We have the PCI Express rider card. We have the domain controller connected with four lanes. We have all lanes terminated. Uh, we have six external uh, termination resistors, 50 ohms. Six because we have a differential signal. Two of the lanes, or one lane, P and N, is going to oscilloscope and uh, terminated by the oscilloscope. We also use the toggle button to go to the preset P0, which is necessary for doing the eye measurement. So we see on the scope displayed the P and the N of lane zero. Uh, we have two signals, but this is not of our interest. In reality, we want to see the differential signal of uh, P minus N displayed as a single trace and then set up the right time basis to view the eye. Let's do that now in detail. So we have now on the display, after preset, the two channels displayed, the P and the N. Uh, the P is in yellow, it's channel 1. Channel 3 is uh, the N signal. But this is not really what we want. We want to have the differential signal, so P minus N. And we have to, wanted to have it displayed as an eye pattern. So I prepared already something, which I basically will recall to make that easier. And uh, this is my recall from um, the setting before. We can see color graded the differential channel already. Important part is the RTP is able to create the differential channel in hardware at speed. We already created a histogram in the bottom, you can see it here in yellow, uh, with the cross-section of the eye. But the problem is, it's not a real eye pattern. Um, what is the reason for that? The reason is that we don't have uh, the right trigger condition. We have an edge trigger. So a couple of people would say, OK, can we change that to both edges? We can do that. It looks already much more like an eye pattern. But uh, something very specific I'd like to point out. The eye pattern, if you do it this way, it will change uh, depending on the trigger point. You don't believe me? Let's have a look. So what I will do, I will shift the whole setup a little bit. And um, let's take two UIs, which is 250 uh, picoseconds, adding that as a shift. So once I've done that, I move the trigger point to the left. And now I see it, the eye pattern here. But now I see the problem that the histogram changed. I can change it, shift it more. The histogram will be always different. So this is a problem that you cannot work really with an edge trigger for creating your eye pattern. What you need is an eye pattern tool, or you need a hardware CDR uh, trigger that basically is able to do the right trigger and this will give you a consistent eye regardless what the shift in time is. Let's have a look at that. I also prepared a setup here. I just do the recall. Basically with the recall we change the trigger to the CDR based trigger. Uh, it takes a little while so that it gets loaded. I also have to start a new acquisition. Once I've done that, I basically see a nice eye pattern. 
I see the histogram, which I created here, the waveform histogram. Now, if I go along and, for example, shift the iPad, so shift the trigger point in the same amount, it was 2UI, it means 250 picoseconds. I see that the histogram is now the same, so this is the advantage of the uh, high-speed serial pattern trigger. And the other advantage is that you have a pretty high update rate. In this case, the update rate is larger than 100,000 acquisitions per second. Once I've created this eye, I already prepared uh, measurements. There's an extensive set of measurements in regards to the eye, which you basically can enable. And keep in mind, this statistic builds up very quickly. So within a minute, you have a complete setting of a measurement, a comprehensive measurement of your eye pattern of the PCI Express. So I showed you a comprehensive analysis of the eye pattern of the PCI Express Gen 3. Keep in mind the important parts are here, the high update rate, the true differential signal in hardware, and also the complicated CDR trigger, which allows you to have a true differential eye measurement. Matthias, thank you very much for this very cool uh, demonstration. This is by far the fastest acquisition rate I have seen in any scope on the market. I mean, you could see the eye diagram in, in a split of a second. Yes. And also CDR, very, very important, especially for high-speed digital interfaces. Thank you very much for this video. You're welcome. So on behalf of myself and Matthias Helwig, make sure that you go on our domain controller solution page for more information. Stay safe and healthy. We will see you next time. Goodbye.